Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the fifth tutorial. In this tutorial we're gonna change text with uh, Dynamo. In Revit we can select our text. So for example wall. We can select it and say no it's wall 2. And we click and it's wall 2. So all of those needs to change to wall 2. There's no uh, good way to do that inside Revit. So we have to manually click wall and say wall 2. And for this one as well wall 2. And that for all of our text notes. Or we can use Dynamo to do it for us. For example, if we say uh, this is our entire model, and well, this note, this text note is way over here. And we change all of our walls, and well, let's say two days later, we find another text with wall, and we, we sit here, ah, oh, I forgot to change it. Well, we can use Dynamo to uh, automate it for us, so it will change all our text and it will change all of our text notes, so we won't forget any of them. So let me quickly change this back to wall, like so, and let's open Dynamo. Alright. All right. <coughs> All right. For this tutorial, we don't need any of the packages. We just need the standard Dynamo core uh, nodes. So we can start immediately, actually. And the first thing what we need to do is search for set text because that's our uh, end goal. And this node allows us to change the text node, change the value of the text node in Revit. So the input for this node is uh, a text node. It's an element. If you see to the left, Revit elements uh, dot text node. And our other input is a string or a our value so where to change to it so for example our wall in Revit let me quickly grab Revit our wall we want to change it to wall 2 like this so our input and uh, let's grab Dynamo our input should be a string so we search for string and the, the string itself needs to be wall oh wall sorry like this and we can connect it so what we need to connect right now is our element or text node so first we need our actually elements so let's search for category categories and let's say text node so open the drop down menu please yes thank you and somewhere here has to be ah, text notes here it is. And then we need all our elements of this category. So all elements of category. We can connect the, those up like so. And you see in the background, uh, Dynamo draw all our text notes and the value of the text. So basically we can connect our elements to our text note input. What will happen, all the, of the text, all of them will change to wall two. And that's not what we want. We, we want only to change the text wall and not wall 1 or wall 40. So what we need to do is we need to set a filter and we're going to create a filter for our text in the node. So let me move this to the left, like here. Uh, for our filter we need, first need to obtain uh, the text itself. So we need to search for get text or just text text ah here it is text get text we need this one the input is our text node or our element let's connect it and the output is the value of our text node or the value of the uh, text so if we just quickly take a look we can see here wall one we got eight of them, we have a couple of wall 40, and we have a couple of walls. So, now we can make a filter for it. 
because the output is a string, we can say uh, equal, equal. This, um, this node allows us to give it an input, input one and input two. And if it's equal, it will gives us a return as true or false if it's not equal. But we can also use contain, contain uh, this node. This node allows us to search for a string in a string. So for example, let me show you. It's a little bit hard to explain. We connect string to the input string. We have another uh, input search for. This is the string where we're searching for. And we have an ignore case and that uh, default value is false. So let me just uh, give it a search for, a second input, so string. And obviously we only have the board uh, wall, uh, wall 40 and wall 1 in our um, model. So I say here wall, because that's what we're looking for. And go to search for, and let's check the output, the return. And as you can see, it's everywhere true, except for the first one, because this is uh, something that was already in my model. But this is not what we want. We want only wall, and not wall 40 and wall 1. So for this uh, example, the string contains is not a good option, because it searches for uh, the input string, and it searches for containing whatever you give to search for. So for example, if I say, uh, w and an A, it will find the same result because wall one contains W A. So that's how this string contains work. Let's uh, delete it because we want to search for wall. So let me type in again wall. So let me connect wall and let me connect our uh, text, our text, and you can see that the output now is everywhere false except for the text that uh, is exactly the same as we typed here. So if I change this uppercase letter to a small case letter, you can see everything is false right now because our word is spelled with an uppercase. So uh, be alert of that because otherwise you won't get any uh, text back. So now we have uh, set up a filter. So for what we want to change. We can filter our list, our big element list. So this is, uh, we are doing this by using the filter by bool mask. This node allows us to filter a list or lists. So our list is element and our mask. So the input of the mask is always a true and a false. It don't can be a anything else. So we need to connect that in our mask and our in or what's true. So let me grab a watch and connect it to our here. You can see we have nine text nodes and as we see in the background we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wall. We have nine wall text in our uh, model. So if we connect our output or our uh, output from our filter in our text node set text like this, you can see in the background it already changed. So now if we go to Revit, let me go to Revit, you can see we have wall 2 here right now. We have wall 1, 40 and 2. And we can change all of our text in, in the model with uh, just using sorry, this script. And the one thing that you should know is uh, put it off automatic because if I change, for example, this to wall 40, because the next thing that I want to change is, oh, well, wall 40 is not good. And I want to go to uh, the set, so the value, it already changed to the value from the previous run. And this is because I changed something inside the entire script. And if you let it to automatic, it will update after you change something. So I suggest you say, set it on manually. And now if you say wall one, wall one, 
and uh, still wall 2, nothing happened. If you forget to change this, well you can see it in the background, it gets really messy because you have wall 2 and wall 2. Previously it was wall 40. And if we want to change this back, the easiest way is just to undo it in Revit. Otherwise there's no option or do it manually. Because this is wall 2 and this is wall 2. So it will, ch it will all change to a different uh, text. So let me show you why I give this warning. If I say wall 2 and I say, oh, it was wall 40. So let's change it bad, back, my mistake. And I say run. Wall 2. What? I say run. Yeah, like this. All right. You can see all of it is wall 40. So there's no appropriate way to undo it unless you go to your Revit model and undo the transactions. So let me just undo all of it so, like this. And let's go back to Dynamo. All right. This is the very basic of changing uh, your text with a simple filter. So you can put in a filter with whatever you want. You can uh, just filter on parameters or on something else. So for example, on family types, something in that direction. Um, let me save this first, save. And let's open uh, the script your ID made. So we have your ch text change your ID. And if we open it. All right, this is a script that uh, we made at the company. Um, this node uh, is exactly the same as what we made before. So if I open it, this is a custom node. You can see it has a contains and it has a equals. And after that, a if statement. So I can choose if I want uh, equal or contains. And then we have the, the same filter and we have set text. And we have then an output so we can see which one has changed or with which element has changed and if it has changed. So if the value is zero because the element didn't exist or for some reason, we can see it in our output. Let me close this. Uh, the rest is all the same actually, only my filter is first a family type. So I search for type and I say all the family types that are uh, 3.5. So what it means is if I say wall 2, you can see here the family type. I can change it to, well, 1 8, for example, smaller. But if I go back to Dynamo and I say here 1.8 and I say our text must be, let me see how was it, wall 2. So text is wall 2 and we change it to test if true it has to be exactly the same and false uh, the word contains the input word so if I say run right now it gives me an empty list and an empty list so something is wrong and what is it I think it didn't filter any of the text I tested it in a metric um, yeah, it's still there. I tested it in a metric um, environment or template. Let me see what's wrong. 1.41. Oh, so, uh, here's the one eight. Oh, it's, oh, wow. It's like so. Run again. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. So we can say, see it has changed, true. And we can see which one has changed. If I click on this number and go back to Revit, you can see it's zoomed in on the element. So if I go zoom out and let me make it half screen and click on it, that's the one we changed. And you can see the other ones still contain or still have wall two inside them. And this is what you can do with uh, change the text of in your model. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and we we'll see you next week.